centers of gravity and moments of inertia of areas. Illustrative problems on center of gravity. Problem 21.3 Find graphically the center of gravity of the eye section as shown in the figure. As the section is symmetrical above its vertical axis y y dash, the center of gravity must lie on that axis. Draw the given section to a convenient scale. Divide it into three rectangles 1, 2 and 3 and locate their centers of gravity G1, G2 and G3 respectively at the points of intersection of their respective diagonals. Through these points, draw parallel lines of action of forces representing the area of each rectangle. These lines may be drawn in any direction except vertical as the center of gravity lies in the vertical axis. Name these forces as AB, BC and CD respectively according to Bose notation. This figure is also called base diagram. Calculate the areas of the rectangles 1 and 3. They will be 6000, 4000 and 2000 square mm respectively. Draw a line parallel to the lines of action of forces and on it mark a point A. Select any convenient scale, say 1 cm equals 1000 square mm and cut off length AB equals 6 cm, BC equals 4 cm and CD equals 2 cm in the direction of the forces. The line AD is also called the load line or force diagram. Mark a point O at any convenient position above or below the line AD and draw lines AO, BO, CO and DO. The point O is called the pole and the whole figure is called the polar diagram. Mark any point A dash on the line of action of the force AB and draw a line parallel to AO. Through the same point, draw a line parallel to BO to intersect the line of action of the force BC at a point B dash. Through B dash, draw a line parallel to CO to intersect the line of action of the force CD at a point C dash. Through C dash, draw a line parallel to DO to intersect the line drawn parallel to AO at a point D dash. Through D dash, draw a line parallel to the lines of action to intersect the axis Y Y dash at a point G. This line is the line of, of the resultant R of the forces and G is the center of gravity of the section. Figure A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash is called the funicular polygon or link polygon.